Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at episode 4 of Zero to Hero. Uh, this episode is going to be a little bit shorter than the usual episodes, um, but we have a lot in store coming up. Uh, episode 5 is going to be great. Um, after episode 4, we go into PvP in episode 5, and that's, you know, a lot of you guys are looking forward to that PvP content. So we're just trying to, you know, skim on by some of the more boring parts of uh, starting your account. But, you know, we don't want to skip anything, so we do actually uh, end up showing you guys what expeditions are. You know, expeditions are, you know, one of the main things that I did when I was a new player. Um, and I, I realized really quickly that it wasn't worth my time. But, you know, what is worth your time is occasionally doing the solo expeditions. The solo expeditions, Tier 4 and Tier 5, are worthwhile because they give you a, a sigil. Uh, the Tier 4 and Tier 5 sigils are both worth about 40k. Um, in Fort Sterling at the very least and you know that's about 45k because you get that silver as well so you're looking at about 45k in about 15 minutes uh, the fame is terrible um, but the silver is pretty decent so if you're a new player and you need some silver this is a quick way to do it and you can even AFK kind of you know why you're doing it you can watch Netflix or do whatever the hell you're doing you don't have to spend you know much of your focus on the actual game when you're doing it um, but you know this is expeditions and I'm just gonna run through this real quick and um, we'll skip kind of toward the end here as we explain the quests on the top right. Um, you just need to complete all the quests on the top right because that will give you your bonus. Or you complete all the quests on the side, like I said, and you're going to be able to do that by just literally running through the middle of the map. You don't have to do anything special. You don't have to go to the sides of the map. It basically just makes sure you don't sprint straight through the entire map. Um, the quarter staff's actually pretty rough here, the, or the soul scythe is pretty rough here because you're you know single target damage and you're not doing a lot of AOE so you can't group up a lot of enemies and burst um, but you know what we got to the end of it and it was all worth it because we get that 50k at the end um, and right now I'm kind of a poor player because I'm trying to stay away from doing the black market too many uh, too many you know times as that's just not really how I know a lot of you guys don't want to play the game by just you know cons consistently going to like this silver um, black market methods and things like that so we are doing some other methods of gaining silver here um, and it gives you a little bit of fame as you can see right there I got about a thousand fame for that final boss kill which is not great but you know it's a thousand fame so right here you're gonna be able to exit the expedition I gave it a three stars because I hate expeditions and I'm trying to you know show that you know they need help they need love uh, expeditions won't ever be a big thing uh, at the rate that they're at but you know that's fine because they're not in the open world and Albion is a game of open world content so it's actually just perfectly fine uh, that expeditions don't give you too much and I'm fine with that but uh, right here you see that I did get the Adepts Royal Sigil um, and we'll go down to the auction house and sell that real quick so you guys can take a look at what that actually does sell for I believe I'm in Fort Sterling right now um, I do switch cities quite a bit throughout this series so you're gonna be able, be able to start seeing that here shortly but like I said 40,000 and you know the next thing we're going to be doing is going to random dungeons so actually what I did here is during that um, during that expedition I was actually looking in the LFG chat uh, in Albion Online and I was just kind of looking for um, <laughs> I'm looking at the chat in the bottom left hand corner and I'm, I, I was kind of a little, little bit trolling them because of what was going on uh, previously you guys didn't get to see all that content thankfully um, but <laughs> What we actually had going is, uh, in the LFG chat, they were looking for a tank, a tier, I think they were doing a tier 6 tank they were looking for, and I, you know, I messaged them, said, I'm tier 4, tier 5, or tier 4 slash tier 5, um, by the way, I'm all tier 4 when I said that, obviously, you know, how like everyone does, uh, but I can hold my own at tier 5 because I'm able to dodge skill shots like, you know, a lot of these new players are not capable of doing some reason, so... Uh, like I said, uh, I was looking in the LFG chat while I was doing the expeditions, and you find out that you can find a lot of groups in there to do random dungeons, and random dungeons is going to be a lot faster. And, uh, expeditions is guaranteed, you know, 40k or 50k plus silver uh, every, you know, what is it, probably 15 minutes to do the expedition, 10 minutes to do the expedition. So that's not bad silver, but the fame is awful uh, compared to everything else. So you got to, you know, do some random dungeons to get your fame. That's going to be the best way for you guys to get your fame. Um, right here we're going to be going to the next boss and it's actually going to be a purple tome boss which is actually great because we finally do kill it. I think it was our third attempt. We do kill it and it actually for a tier 6 um, dungeon map we only got three tomes which is kind of crazy you know, in my eyes. I feel like you should have got a lot more. Um, we did, or one of these guys did buy a tier 6 map actually to do this dungeon so 
Um, as our main tank, I'm very surpri surprised it went so well and we were actually able to kill everything. Uh, right here, what you're going to be seeing is a dungeon dive. So I actually can't help my team here because I'm not faction flagged. And I didn't really think about this beforehand very much. Um, but basically, my team's getting dove by about 12 plus players right now. And I can't do a damn thing to help them, uh, which is kind of a good thing because in reality, at my, um, my spec... Uh, us five are not going to, you know, 5v12 these guys. So uh, I actually get out <laughs> safe here, and I just kind of walk around and uh, watch the fight go down, watch my players die on me, um, which is kind of unfortunate, but, uh, you know, it, it, it happens. It was a good dive, so got to kind of respect that. Uh, but that was kind of an interesting way to go out here um, <laughs> for sure. I was kind of hoping this guy would die here on the side, and I could just take his loot real quick. Um Obviously, that doesn't seem to be happening as he does whirlwind his way out of there. Uh, but, you know, this is what this episode was. It's basically just a little bit of fame farming and silver farming. Uh, next episode is going to be a lot of crazy PvP Hellgates. So, we are going to get straight into the PvP Hellgates with the Soul Scythe build. So, you're going to be able to see what that all looks like and entails. So, I'll see you guys next time as this was a short episode for of zero to hero and i hope you guys enjoyed this episode as we skip forward to episode five next looks like it entails